What's up everybody, I'm Joe from i47 Studios, and I know you saw the title, but don't get worried. Trust me, this video is gonna be completely worth it and make a lot of sense once we get to the end. Now, I wanna talk about evolutions. This is gonna be the first video in a long series of investment tips and what I recommend you to do and probably suggest that you do in your Pokemon Master Set hunting. Now, evolutions, I don't even know where to start. My question is, what the hell happened? These packs that I have dozens of were literally $2 a piece not that long ago. Now they're going for anywhere from $12 to $20 online. And I know who to blame. And believe it or not, it's not the scalpers. No, it's the people who, and I kid you not, started to get back into Pokemon when the celebrities took over. And I'll explain this. Now, don't get me twisted, I do enjoy Logan Paul. I might be in the minority of people, you have your own opinion, whatever, but I enjoy what he did for the Pokemon community. I'm not talking about the person, but I'm talking about the idea of celebrities coming into our hobby. It is great. Ultimately, it is great. It shows people more interest, but it also creates chaos. When Logan Paul decided to open up a base set, I did all this research and I couldn't believe this. The price for evolutions was still relatively low. Once he started pulling the Charizard cards, and I'm not blaming him particularly, there's that guy, Logic, who went and spent, you know, hundreds of thousands on a first edition Charizard. I get that. That's first edition Charizard. That's a talk for another day. But everybody wanted that rush of nostalgia. The people that weren't into Pokemon, the kids that had no idea what it was, but they followed these celebrities based on whether it was their YouTube channels, their, uh, you know, music careers, their independent wrestling careers or MMA, whatever they do. I don't even know what they do. I saw... A lot of people coming out of, oh my God, you know what? I want to get these. You know, I, I want to relive and I can't go and buy thousands of dollars worth of Pokemon cards. It's just not in anyone's budget during a global health crisis. So what are we going to do? We're going to try and find the most common um, set, basically, that's going to resemble base set. <sighs> and I'm afraid to tell you, it absolutely destroyed it. It absolutely destroyed it. Um... People want the Russian nostalgia to pull a Charizard to be like, look, oh my God, oh my God. There is a point where hype, unfortunately, becomes, you know, you get over it. I hate to say it, but you really kind of just, it's not that exciting anymore. The amount of people that were into Pokemon when, and I, I tell you this, when the celebrities were going crazy and buying hundreds of thousands, it made mainstream news. Mainstream news, of course, you know, you want the popular attention. You want everyone to, you know relive their childhood memories but what they forgot and what they didn't realize is that us collectors that have been doing this for years were affected by this more than ever and also wholesalers as well and, and uh, local card shops where the demand was getting so high where we just couldn't do the number one thing and that was to make everyone happy i will show you guys a few examples of what i think is absolute bs the title of this video is Stop wasting your money on evolutions. Well, I'm going to explain why you should and what you should do. Because what I'm about to show you might actually blow your minds. Okay, ready. So, I'm going to show you guys real quick a couple things. If you go into TCGplayer.com right now, which, believe it or not, is, the, my opinion, the number one leading source for current Pokemon prices. I can't really go on with eBay because, again, those are just suggested, but they don't really give you a medium. They give you of what you should be sold. Now, in doing so, as I'm going to screen record this right here so you guys can see everything that is going on, let's see. Oh, can I actually screen record? Uh, you know what? I'll do it in post-editing. Anyway, so basically, evolutions. It gets me frustrated because there are a lot of people that just want a, one card, the Charizard, the ultimate, the playground myth, the legend. You know, that kid who might not got, uh, you know, got any attention in, you know, college or high school whatsoever, a college or high school, I guess elementary school, and now that has that card and all of a sudden is selling it and driving off in a Lamborghini while the ladies are looking at him or men, whatever your preferred interest is. The sad part is, is Pokemon collectors, like myself, knew immediately when Evolution's stock rock, is st like the stock market for the price of it started to rise, I looked back and I was talking to a bunch of buddies of mine that are into investing and I said, I'm not touching it. 
I have a firm reason why I'm not touching it, why I'm not going back and investing in it. Because in 2017, we did that already. Yes, there is a surge for, you know, what we have as collectors. And yes, you might want to buy all these packs. You might want to buy the dollar store versions. You might want to buy the blisters. These are all from 2017, 2018, guys. I didn't just all of a sudden just come up and just be like, oh, Pokemon, I need 20,000 cases of evolutions. That wasn't the case. We have still been sitting on this for that long. Now, I know what you're thinking, Joe, why haven't you turned around and sold everything? A, because I'm not a dick. B, is because I don't like what they're doing. I do not like what evolutions, uh, what has become of it. Um, it is a, granted, one of the sets that I feel strongly about and was awesome. It got me back into the hobby, which it got everyone back into the hobby. That's fine. That's what you want to do. But I, I, I don't know how much more I need to explain this. There's a lot of factors that screwed this up. What I recommend doing and what ultimately I would do is go and look at the original prices. Today, the Charizard for evolutions is going for about a hundred or something dollars. All right. I say that's not bad given a Charizard. I have right here the pre-release, my personal PSA 9 Charizard with a pre-release stamp right here that apparently is now worth thousands. I paid no more than two, less than $200 for this. Not even that long ago. And what blows my mind is that people think that you can just go ahead and just sell these and think that you're going to get rich. The worst part is, is that consumers who have no idea about Pokemon whatsoever are going to just, you're going to waste your money on it. You're going to go and be like, yo, I want that Charizard. Oh, uh, you know, and then all of a sudden spend your money on it for five seconds. It's going to sit on a shelf three months later when the new it thing comes out or the new set of Pokemon comes out. And all of a sudden you're going to be like, oh, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't have wasted that money because I'm going to show you a prime example. This is something that I realized um, absolutely blew my damn mind. So in when the begin, I had to double check the numbers on this in the beginning of when basically Logan Paul and all the celebrities came back into the game around that time frame, uh, champions path was still in its infancy. The Charizard card, I, the time's not like, you know, it's not like exact, but it's within that span. The Charizard, the most expensive Charizard card for champions path literally came out of a price of about $500. It is now in current market price for less than, I want to say probably about 360. The funny thing about that is that what people don't realize is to anybody who bought that card literally not that long ago, you just wasted $200 for being impatient. That's it. You could actually maybe $300 at this point. Your drive to get this right now instead of waiting, just absolutely just drill the hole in your pocket. It blows my damn mind. So I'm going to show you guys right here what I got pulled up. Now, the Charizard, as I have right here, the Average listed price right now on TCG Player as of January 29th at 4 o'clock p.m. is $312.52. Okay. I'm going to show you what I ended up trying to get in auction when I first couldn't get it. Back December 4th, 2019. Not December 4th, 2019. I'm sorry. That's the wrong image. Let me pull that back up. What I was looking at, that, that will be a conversation for a few minutes. Uh, October 3rd. Okay, we are in January, October, November, December. Look at that, Jan four months. It was original, originally set at $570 at the lowest market price at that time. Now, to the people that bought it, let me just do the math for you. $570 compared to what it is at today, $312. That is almost a 45% decrease that... That money could have gone towards a car payment, a bill, whatever whatever it is. Granted, we're not here to talk about Champion's Path. That's for a whole other situation. But Evolutions, guys. Jesus Christ. And I don't even know if I can say that on YouTube. If I get flagged for it, I get flagged for it. But what are you doing? What are you doing, guys? You are... Now, I'm not talking about the normal, like, us TCG collectors. I'm talking about the people that just come into the hobby for 10 hot seconds, and all of a sudden, that's their it thing for the week, and then fall out, and we never hear from them again. Stop. Just stop. Because it is 
ruining our hobby at the same time. Granted, I understand people are trying to make money and they see a, you know, a hole immediately where they're like, oh my God, Evolutions is hot right now. I gotta buy, I gotta buy. No, you can don't. You do not have to buy Evolutions right now with these prices because I'll show you exactly what you should do because this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Okay, let's begin. So if I go right here and I go on to tcgplayer.com, the average price of, it's gonna pop up right here, so don't worry. The average price of a, Evolutions booster box unopened right now, 889.90 cents. Do you know why I looked at that and said, that is the stupidest thing I've seen in a long time when it comes to Pokemon card collecting. That is the average market price you guys have been buying those boxes for. And the, again, a big reason everybody's been saying, Joe, why, you know, we can't get, wait to get Evolutions. Yeah. Um, like, Guys, slow down. Slow down. Let me help you. Let me help you. I am probably the only guy on YouTube, might be in the world, that's going to tell you, just relax. This hype, this isn't worth it. And especially to your bank account during this time. This is not worth it. You know why it's not worth it? Oh, Joe Wonder. Okay, so here's what I went ahead and did. I went to tcgplayer.com. And I said, you know what? What is the goal of every booster box? You want to pull one of every card. Now, granted, if you want to open up the cards yourselves and pull one of every card, that's great. But the ultimate job of Pokemon card collecting, besides the game itself, is to collect one of you want to you want to complete the set. That's what every collection is. You want to complete it. Well, guys, I'm here to tell you that evolutions you can complete it for a fraction of the price. How simple? What I'm going to show you is something that I went ahead and took time to do, because again, I'm very passionate about this, and I want to see everybody stop making stupid decisions, and the more people that buy these scalper prices are the same people that, I kid you not, are the reasons why they can, we can't find this stuff in stores. So if you go ahead and you bought that box for $800, I'm going to tell you right now, that was a stupid investment. Here's why. Okay. I go ahead and I make a booster box for Evolutions at eight hundred, you know, ninety dollars. Okay, I go on eBay right now. Let's just go on eBay and let's see what they have been sold for. You don't want to go and talk about what the Evolution set. Um, yeah, you basically you don't want to go ahead and see what they what they are auctioned at. You want to see what they've sold for in the last couple months. So I'm going to type in Evolutions booster box and show you guys right here. Again, you want to filter this because, I, I, again, you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be st stuck on this. Okay, the average price of a sponsored EX Evolutions booster box right now is going anywhere from a thousand, okay, to twelve hundred. Now we're gonna ask Siri right here. Hey Siri, uh, what is one thousand minus eight hundred eighty nine point ninety dollars? found this thank you okay so you basically are just with fees and taxes shipping if you were to do everything you just made a profit essentially it's a right again a rough estimate of 110 dollars congratulations scalpers you just made a hundred dollars now i'm going to tell you what you've been doing wrong this entire time all right okay here's what i did i went and looked up every card's individual value on TCG Player, and I added them all up. The going rates you can currently buy Evolutions for a master set. Again, a booster box contains 36 cards, and there are 10 packs. Is it, is it 10? Is it 10 or is it 9? Okay, there's 10. So that's $360 you are currently spending on per card. Divide, okay. Okay, how can I word this? You're spending $800 on a box. You're getting at minimum 360 cards out of that. That could be worth probably nothing. You think about how many extras you're going to get. You're going to get Caterpie, Menopod, um, Trainer Cards, Energies. At what, 15, 13 cents a pop? That's ridiculous. So 360 cards. All right, think about that for a second. 360 cards. There are, in Evolutions, how many cards are in this set? I was looking at that earlier. Uh, with the reverse rares and the energies, the bare minimum 
that you would be able to spend, and I went ahead and looked this up, so I can pull this up right here, is, you guys ready for this? Three, okay, if you go and buy every single card in that set of the standard cards, and not including the reverse rares, the reverse rares, mind you, Again, if you master sets, it's a totally different scenario. But if you're going to pull every common, every hollow, every trainer, every secret rare, everything, including Charizard, the entire amount that you are spending on evolutions right now for a master set from TCG player for one of every card is $386.93. Okay. That's how much a master set costs, basically going through TCG player. Now, you just spent $800 or so, $889 on a booster box with a minimum of 360 cards. Okay, imagine paying a dollar for each of those cards. You just literally wasted 500 and, I don't even know, $520 on a chance to maybe pull, maybe you don't even pull a Charizard out of that. You just wasted an extra $100. This blows my mind. This blows my mind. You guys, I, I, again, the scalpers, that, that's one thing. They're in it to make money, but the people in the hobby, guys, stop being silly. Stop. Stop going crazy. Stop spending $12, $13 on evolutions. It's not worth it. The only thing I might recommend doing is, okay, if you don't want to go on TCG Player, fine. Go buy at least one booster pack. Get that $12. Get those 10 cards that might have one rare card in it. There you go. You just essentially saved yourself maybe it's a risk it's a gamble you saved yourself a couple of dollars maybe you didn't but for 830 i'm sorry 386 dollars and 93 cents okay that is how much it takes to master set evolutions via tcgplayer.com the most reasonable marketplace for pokemon today again you just went ahead and said oh i'm gonna get a booster box well that booster box my friend 889 dollars and 90 cents Okay, you just spent an extra $500 for no damn reason, and I'm going to explain why. Because ultimately, if your goal is to sell these, that booster box just sold for $1,000. You have now profited $100 uh, uh, at minimum with taxes or shipping, whatever the case may be. Maybe you walk away with that. But spending the $386.93 going to collecting one of every master set, you might spend a little bit more. Then you go on eBay if you really want to get into auction prices, and we go ahead and look at exactly what the going rate for a master set is for a complete set of evolutions as i'm going to show you guys is literally can i go to sold where is it come on come on show me it because this is going to blow your mind that hundred dollar profit has now become this is ridiculous this is ridiculous i gotta i gotta show you the the most expensive like the highest price ship undersold okay a complete master set right now TCG player, including all cards, 113 out of 108, just sold November 18th, literally for $1,400. Okay, take that minus the $386.93, and congratulations, you just profited almost literally $1,100. Now, guys, let me ask you, what sounds better in your wallet? That $100 you made off the booster box trying to pull every one card or now the extra $1,000 you have because you did the smart decision. <laughs> and this is why Evolution stock prices have gone up because nobody pays attention to this. It's something as a master set collector I, I love seeing. Now granted, there is always the excitement that you want to pull your own Charizard card. You don't want to go ahead and buy it. But as I just showed you, for an extra $500, you could literally buy a PlayStation 5 with that price. If you could find one, an Xbox Series X. It's a down payment on a car, maybe. Uh, on a, on a, I don't know how... You know, that could be part of your rent. That could be your grocery bills. All for a card that is going to be sitting there, literally on your shelf. And if you have no intention on selling it, it's just going to look nice. It's just going to look nice. It absolutely blows my mind that people with evolutions are spending this much money on it. And you know what the funny thing is? Is that, yes, it's a reprinted base set. It's a <laughs> a childhood memory you want to relive. But ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth it at the end of the day for this money to be spent?
when you could have spent a lot less. What's actually really funny is the going rate right now for an entire master set of actual evolutions, which, mind you, is a reprint from base set. I want to show you guys this right here. <laughs> Where is it? On December 4th, 2019, I bought a collection on eBay for an incomplete master set of base set, which you guys will see soon, for $239. You know why? Because it was the smart thing to do. Nobody knew that the global pandemic was going to happen in a couple months. Nobody knew that Pokemon's prices were going to skyrocket. But again, it's just how you look. I spent less money, literally uh, $150 less than what a Master Set Evolutions will cost today on an original base set, which is now in probably the thousands. I, I haven't looked because, again, this is not about um, you know base set. But <laughs> it's just about using your head, guys. It it's about taking the time and thinking, okay, this card is worth this right now. Do I get it? Oh my God, I have to have it. No, you don't have to have everything right now. Yes, there are some cards that you might say that is a good deal on, but this is why people in the stock market do these things. They watch the prices go up. They watch them go down. Um, it's essentially the same concept with Pokemon. Now, am I turning around and buying evo every evolution set? No. So what do I recommend you doing? Well, the first option is come to i 47 Studios shop right now where you can buy a Master's at Starter Kit this weekend for $20. That includes one of every common, reverse rare, uh, non-holo, energy and trainer card to get yourself started. From there, for $20... From there, then you can actually go ahead and pick out the cards you just want to complete your set. Maybe you don't like the secret rares. Maybe you just want the original hollows that they reprinted. Maybe you just want the reverse rares. Guys, there's millions of options. Don't be stupid. I don't. I don't mean that like as an intelligence thing. Like everybody's smart. You know, everybody. You know, don't ever. Don't be. How can I word this? Because uh, I'm being real with you guys. Just don't. Just think about it. Just, ha you know, just have common sense. Just have common sense. Maybe you didn't know these things before, and that's okay. That's what I'm here to tell you. But I live a great life. And a lot of it involves my Pokemon collections. And <laughs> I'm not sitting here saying I need, like, I have binders of hundreds and hundreds of cards, man. Thousands, if that. What do I need 30,000 extra Caterpies for? What do I need 30,000 extra you know, Gyarados is for, what, what, do I plan on selling it? No, I don't plan on selling it. It's my collection. Maybe my kids want it. If I die, then you know what? It's on them. Maybe they don't like Pokemon. Maybe they like, I don't know, sports. It's, it's just something I don't understand how I've gone into shops and the, the shops, the local card shops are charging $12 because the people online are, you know, these aren't even real auction prices. $20 for the pack of cards, I can understand if it was original XY base set. But for evolutions, guys, just be careful. Stop wasting your money on stuff you don't need to. And I hope this video is informative. I hope you guys learned from it. I want to do more of these, you know, within our series. Because <laughs> I'm tired of seeing people struggle. I get emails every day, uh, direct messages every day of everyone, you know, saying... Joe, I can't find these products. What do you got to, what do you, you know, how can you help me? What can you do? You know, that's what I'm here for. But it also, <laughs> I had a buddy the other day, my buddy Mike, and I will tell you right now, he went online and he went on Instagram and bought an Xbox from a website or from a, a dealer uh, that was offering an Xbox 200 or no, it was like, uh, sorry, an, X, an Xbox Series X it was like 500 and change. It was like a stranded retail price. He sent him the money, and then, unfortunately, the guy disappeared, flat off the face, Instagram gone, everything. Now, granted, he was able to get his money back via Cash App or whatever the bank's, you know, policies are. But don't be fooled. If it seems too good to be true, don't do it. If you go to a local card shop and they're offering $800 and you say, yo, I can't find that anywhere, that doesn't mean you have to buy it. That doesn't mean you can, there aren't any other options, is what I'm saying. And in doing so, if you wanted to go ahead and make a profit, you could do this. I'm not suggesting it for the collector's sake because maybe evolu 
As far as I'm concerned, Evolution stock is ultimately going to decrease exponentially when Shining Fates and the 25th anniversary cards come out. Nobody's going to be paying attention to these because, again, just because this is... Granted, this was four years ago this came out. And just because it was the most recent reprint of base set, that's what made it go up. And hilariously, is that, I kid you not, people keep looking for Evolutions packs. You keep looking in the wrong places. All right, I'm going to show you this right now. Okay, I just spent, imagine, I bought two packs, or I bought a pack. Imagine I just spent $20 on this. Just a pack, mind you. Unweighed, whatever the case is. Here's a Pikachu tin, all right? That is $24.99. Now, I'm going to show you guys this. When you open it up for $24, granted, half of that, the price, is in an Evolutions pack right here. Now, when you open this up, not only are you going to get a Pikachu V-card, but you can get literally six other packs, all right? Six other packs. It might not be Evolutions, it, you know, but also, like, the money is there. Would you rather spend the extra $12 on newer packs and newer sets that you could literally take and go ahead and master set? Yes, I would absolutely do that. I would not go ahead and just spend exactly $12 on one pack. The only, the only pack I would do is probably Generations, because that entire set is sweet as hell. But inside those, and especially these, look. Okay, here's a Beware box. Granted, this was $20. Retail, you can buy this on Amazon, you can find it on eBay. Look what's inside. An Evolutions pack. So, okay, for an extra $7... I just got a Guardians Rising, two Guardians Rising, a Steam Siege. Well, not the best example, but there are other options to find Evolutions packs, guys. They aren't just the single packs that you need to find. They're hidden, basically, in these elite, you know, boxes, in these uh, card bins. Like, I can grab another one right here. Lycanroc. Prime example, a $20 box. Not even. $15.99. Look at that. That's one Evolutions price pack right there. Guys, what are you doing? Use your head. <laughs> think, think, think. And Brian and Jess, you guys, I know for a fact, bought Evolutions packs. I charged, I kid you not, about $7.50. Reason being, that, in my opinion, is the going rate of the packs. Not $12, not $20. Because, guys, don't fall victim to these prices man you don't need to you don't need to the places you can go and especially with these dollar store packs and i recommend look at these if you really wanted to master set something you could even the dollar store packs the evolution's dollar store packs that are found inside where is it uh where is it where is it where is it do i even have them here i might not actually have no i don't think i have them in the store um at home uh, so I think I actually have them at the shop. Those tins, uh, like the Blissey tin, uh, the Guard of War tin, you know, okay, they're 10 bucks. They're 10 bucks a tin and they include Evolutions packs. So if you're just looking for literally these cards, there's six of them in here. That, there you go. That dollar and a half just literally saved you five, six additional cards towards a master set. So I don't know, call me an idiot, call me a schmuck, whatever you want to do. But ultimately, I'm not the one sitting here who wasted $500 on a set that I knew wasn't going to be worth it. So with that being said, guys, I've been Joe from i 407 Studios. I love you. And if you have any questions, you can always DM me. You can ask me anything on our Discord. You can comment. Tell me how much I'm wrong. Tell me how much I'm, you know, I'm an idiot that you think that Evolutions is going to, uh, you know, blow up in price throughout the next couple months. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I'm here to tell you that there are other options and you should stop doing it the way you're doing. Because you know what? The best way I can explain this is that I failed more times in my life than I can count. And the number and my biggest failure in life, I will say to this, was trying to live my dream without a plan. And once I finally saw that I was able to live my dream, I looked up, I said, you know what? Pray to whoever you pray to. If you pray, if not, give it a chance. It can't hurt. I'm not here to talk religion. I'm not here to talk politics. But I looked up, I said, God, I said, clearly the way I'm doing things isn't working. Show me your way. I said, I will back off. Find me the way to get to where I need to be. And I'll do it, whatever it takes. And I did. And it worked. I had to stop thinking with my own head and start, you know, following and believing that something 
greater was to come while waiting. And I'd rather go somewhere slow and nowhere fast. And that's my example with this. You want to go ahead and buy that $800 Evolutions Booster Box? Maybe in 10 years it's worth something. Maybe there's another reprint of base set that's going to knock it right off the shelf that nobody even cares about. It's already four years old, guys. And right now, I don't see it going up anymore. That's just me. But again, guys, I've been Joe from i 4 7 Studios. I love you. Uh, don't forget to check out our Pokemon opening channels. Don't forget to check out our Master Set Mondays. We will be going over my base set collection, which is fun. Uh, it, it's it's going to be an interesting week. But again, I hope you guys like this new investment series. And I hope it taught you something at the end of the day. Because every time I see people going crazy over this, I just I sit back and I'm like, I already got one of every card. Why do I need a, Why do I need to spend $800 on a, on a box? There are other options, guys. You know that. I know that. Now you know. And I love you. Stay safe. Stay safe. Wear a mask, by the way, if you haven't. So that apparently that's essential. I'm kidding. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.